Welcome to another personal training tutorial for you from aotraining.net. Well, how do you hide rows or columns in an Excel worksheet? Well, that's really quite simple to do. All you need to do is remember again the cursor, the little arrow pointing down. If we want to hide a column, there's that column there. So we just click our column and it will drag across. We want to hide all three of these columns. Well, actually, we'll just hide the two to the left of the formula. And we'll go right click and down the bottom here we'll choose Hide. Now those columns are hidden, but you'll notice our formulas are still calculating that hidden data. All right, how do we unhide it? Well, simply clicking to the left of it and going unhide does nothing. To the right of it, going unhide does nothing. We need to straddle. You notice that section in there showing it's hidden. It's a little darker. right? We need to straddle by left-clicking and dragging across the hidden section. Straddle the hidden section, right-click and go unhide. And we've now unhidden the cells. It's the same with rows. If we wish to hide these rows, Right click, make sure you, the arrow is pointing and we'll go hide and the rows are hidden. And again you see it's showing us it's hidden there by that darker border. Interestingly if you print this data, it's uh, what you see is what you get. It will print what is visible on the screen. How do we unhide this? Same again, click to the top of it and drag underneath so we've highlighted the whole row above and below, then with our arrow pointing out again, so it's no good if we come over here and do this, our arrow pointing out again, we go unhide, and our data will be unhidden. It's as simple as that, hiding rows and columns. And that's a very effective thing for you to do. Sometimes you might want to hide some information, then lock your workbook up so people can't unhide it, and it just allows you to still be doing certain things that they can't see. Now, a problem that often occurs is when the first cell, A1, is hidden. All right, so let's say we hide this column. We've got our pointer there again. We'll select the column, and then we go right-click, and we're going to go hide. How do we unhide it? Because we can't straddle it. If we go unhide, now nothing happens. Well, a quick way to do it would be to click our box at the top, which selects all seven odd million cells on this sheet. And then we could just go with our cursor facing down, unhide. But that would also unhide, unhide every other hidden um, column on the worksheet. Do we really want that? Well, let's see another way we can do it. We'll just right click and we'll go hide again. This time, highlight column B, left click down with the arrow facing down and just go to the left until you see it says C2 there. Let it come up, then go back, right click and go unhide. It's a little difficult for some to get that concept. Sometimes unhiding that first row or column can be difficult. It's the same with the row. If we hide this row, then what we would need to do is just click the row and drag up till we see now it says R2. Come back to the row and go unhide and it will work for us. So that's a little bit. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to show you before we come along. You notice when we had hidden uh, rows and columns. It showed us this little dark area here. See it? That shows that that's, there are columns hidden there. Don't get confused, as many do, with the auto filter. We're going to unhide this and we're just going to quickly apply an auto filter here. To, and we'll discuss auto filters, of course, in another tutorial. But we'll just put in an, an auto filter to show you the difference and we'll hide a little bit of data. So with the auto filter, we're hiding data here. We've hidden all our data and it gives us the very same effect. You notice that border there? And oftentimes I get called and people say, I can't unhide the rows. But in fact, the rows aren't hidden. If you try and unhide these and go unhide, nothing happens. Because hiding rows with an auto filter and hiding them manually as you were are two very different things. If you wish to show that data again, you'd need to go back to data, filter, and show all to put it back. All right, we'll remove that auto filter from here. So I just wanted to show you that because sometimes you'll see that hidden little line on the left. You know there's hidden data there, 
but you must realise where, how has it been hidden and reverse the process accordingly. This is Trev for AOTraining.net. This is a very useful thing to do. Please use it to improve your worksheets and workability of your data analysis. Thanks for joining us and thanks for listening.